Hey guys, what's up? It's Frank from GearCouch.com and um, before we jump into the specifications and details of the guitar that I'm holding in my hand, I would like to apologize for being absent with reviews and demos for such a long time. But to my defense, I have a good excuse. I've been working on two albums simultaneously. One would be, um, well, kind of a solo record. Uh, I have some guest musicians on it and the material that I use for it has been on my hard drives for a really long time. And the second would be a record that I recorded with uh, two buddies of mine, uh, Gil Sekri and uh, Stefan Klebingard. So there's a lot of cool music coming your way and I'm definitely going to do an announcement on this channel very soon. I did something that I have never done before in my life. I jumped into a run of 50 guitars from a company that I had no experience with and zero reference to. The price was just too good not to be in regarding the specifications that I'm going to give you in a couple of moments. Uh, this is the Nico Guitars Claymore. It's a Super Strat style guitar with uh, a very cool uh, inline headstock. And um, the specifications are mahogany body, maple neck with rosewood stripes, rosewood fretboard it's very dark and almost looks like ebony actually 24 stainless steel threads two uh, member vk humbuckers uh, they also come from nico guitars and um, volume control three-way switch now a guitar like this especially regarding uh, the stainless steel threads would be around seven to eight hundred bucks i would suppose. This guitar costs 
So I definitely had to jump in because I was really interested in how they sound and how they feel. Nico Guitars is a quite young guitar company. The stuff that I've seen on the internet before was basically a headless model and uh, some guitar kits with single parts so you could assemble the guitar at home. Their trademark is, uh, well, the three little holes there in the body and this makes it definitely quite unique. Um, I have to say I really like how it plays and how it sounds. Um, the only thing that I'm not really a big friend of are the pickups, but this is just my personal taste in pickups. Uh, everybody has a different set of ears and will definitely experience that in a different way, as I always say. Um, but uh, to me they're a little bit too treble heavy and they could have a little bit more output to them. But as I said, that's just me. On the plus side of things, this guitar is incredibly light. It's uh, lighter than, than any other guitar uh, with these features and in that style that I've ever had in my hands. And the neck, I would describe it as a um, slim D, slim C, something between C and D uh, profile, is very comfortable and plays like butter. If you guys want to know more about Nico Guitars, I'm going to put the website address in the description of the video. And there is a run of 100 guitars going on currently and they still have open slots. So definitely check out their Facebook page. You're also going to find the description and link below. Like always, if you like what I do and you'd like to support me, simply hit the subscribe button. It's just a little click and um, you're going to be notified when there's new videos up. And I promise I'm going to do a lot more within the next few weeks. See ya!